dive into limitless augmented experiences with Analog AR, a hands-free cutting edge device designed for both everyday consumers and developers. Crafted with a sturdy three-piece cardboard base, this innovative headset offers universal compatibility, accommodating both iOS and Android devices. An integrated elastic band ensures a snug fit for any phone, while the revolutionary patent-pending hinge mechanism allows users to adjust the camera angle between 0 and 25 degrees, fine-tuning the AR experience to their preference. To use the headset, simply open up your favorite mobile app, attach it to the front of the headset with the elastic band, place the headset on your head, and enjoy the experience. Combining lightweight design with durability, the headset facilitates prolonged, immersive sessions without discomfort. More than just tech, the Analog AR Augmented Reality Headset is the affordable gateway to a world where the tangible and virtual intertwine, enabling hands-free interactions and unparalleled immersive experiences for all to enjoy. How's it going, everybody? My name is Steven Christian, the creator of the Analog AR headset, and today I will be doing an unboxing of the headset and how it works. And so, as you can see, we have the lovely logo, Analog AR, Augmented Reality Headset, putting the AR in easier. The front of the box has the same thing, little logo, here's a side panel, just showing a disclaimer of the creator, myself, yours truly, and where you can find more information, as well as a nice little logo of things. This is a simple walkthrough guide on the other side of just how it works. Simply open up your favorite mobile app that is augmented reality enabled, attach your phone to the front of the headset, wear the headset, and enjoy the experience. Also to note that this is an experience that is best used sitting down and is not meant to be worn while walking and standing, but specifically walking because it could lead to unfortunate situations that we don't want. On the back, it just has a little bit of a overview of all the stuff that went into making this headset. Um, and just again, another disclaimer, as you can see. And so we'll go ahead and open it. So there's a little flap on the back of it and you can open it and you're presented with the screen, the screen and the main body of the headset. And so there's some documentation and some other stuff that I have here that I will open. But we can move on to the headset itself. So this is the main lens. As you can see, there is a ridge for the nose. This is going to be touching the forehead. And we have the main part of the body, the side, the other side, and the bottom. Again, with that acknowledgement of you know the creator and the licensing information just in case anybody wanted to know a little bit more about it and so with this headset before I move on to this you'll see that there are flaps on the sides like that attached by velcro you use this to change the angle of the phone camera so that you're changing and having a different viewing angle so you can make it look up, you can make it look down, or you can make it look forward. This is to reduce the strain on your neck when you are viewing augmented reality experiences through your phone. And so in order to do that, I designed a nice little hinge that allows for you to modify the phone screen. And so we have our package of stuff that comes with it. And so when I go into the package, we have some content. So 
So we have a uh, issue of Island Fever, which is a fully augmented comic that you'll be able to enjoy by downloading the app and it has a lot of information on that. We also have some bookmarks that also work with the Island Fever app as well. So a lot of content to start with. We have a quick start guide, which is a message from me just to give, just show a little bit of appreciation. Uh, but also when you go to the, the QR code, it allows for you to learn more about it and also go through a whole bunch of different uh, tutorials and, and things regarding the analog AR headset. And so definitely that is the go-to for getting started. We also have a head strap. We have a phone strap for the front. And then we also have some foam to attach to the front of the, or the back of the headset so that it provides us with an increased level of comfort while we're holding the headset on our face. And so before we get started, I'll just go ahead and apply these things to the headset. So I'll start off with the phone strap and it's as easy as placing it on one side and then placing it on another side. And this is what's gonna hold your phone to the headset. And it's pretty sturdy, it's very stiff. And so this is gonna be very good for most, if not any of the smartphones that are out there, except for probably the foldables, if you have it completely open as a foldable. Uh, but for the most part, they all should work. Now I will apply the head strap to it. And so the head strap is pretty simple. You just slide it through the first hole and then slide it through the second hole. And now you're able to fasten it just like that. And then I'll do that with the other side. So slide it through the first hole, slide it up through the second hole, and then apply that. Lastly, slide it through the first hole, slide it through the second, and voila, there we go. Now we have both of those. The last thing that we'll do is we'll place the foam on it so that it gives us a better, better level of comfort. And so you can see we have our foam. The key thing to placing the foam is that for the most part, you're not going to need foam on this side right here. And so what I like to do is start my foam on the center either right here or start from one end over here. And so I think I'll start on this side. And so since I won't need the foam here, I can actually start on this side right here and then I can loop it all the way around until we get to the other side. And so I could take the strip, remove the part that's covering the adhesive, and then I could just place it on one side. And then just have it glide over it. And I'll press it down. And I'm just having my thumb glide along the edge. Like that. As I glide it along the edge, it allows me to have a good adhesive stick. And then I can push the sides down. And while I'm applying it, I'm also pulling the foam a little bit. 
so that it gets a nice good stretch so that the adhesive can stick as well. Now as you can see, we were able to get all the way around it. Like that. And so with this strip, because all the strips are not cut equally, with this strip, there's additional There's additional padding like that. But as you can see, we have our headset set up. So we have our phone attached to it. Just like that. And once you place the foam on once, it'll be on for pretty much the remainder of the time. And this, even though it might feel Thin, it is really really nice and it provides for significantly increased comfort and that is how you set up the analog AR augmented reality headset just like that so I have my phone here and I have the card and so with the Phone, I could go to my camera and then I could look at the QR code on the card and when I tap on it I can go to open it in Safari and it takes me to the analog AR website where it shows me how it works shows me a little bit more information about it setting up in terms of the unboxing attaching the padding everything gives you a little bit of information on the creation of it. If you're interested in development, it allows you to go to the online courses that have been made for the development of it, as well as a developer kit for the Unity game engine so that you could create your own experiences with the analog AR headset in mind. And then there's also pre-existing experiences that are out there, regardless of if it's made by me or by other creators, I'm a really big fan of promoting augmented reality experiences that other people have created and making them available for people because that's one of the reasons why I created Analog AR. There's a lot of book augmented reality experiences specifically that people can tap into fresh out the gate. I've provided Island Fever issue zero and some bookmarks to start off with, but if you have other stuff in mind, you can definitely engage in those as well. So we have Island Fever Augmented Reality, we have Flossin Augmented Reality, we have Masters of the Sun by Marvel and the Black Eyed Peas, we have Prosthetic Reality, and we have IJAC by Sutu, we have Bravest Warrior, we have Neon Wasteland and Neon Wasteland Part 2, and my new favorite, the Arkham Asylum Files Batman Augmented Reality game. I will be adding more to this collection as I continue to test more and continue to promote the analog AR headset and the possibilities that it can have with creating different things. So again, you know, be sure to not lose this because this is your gate ticket. But even if so, you're able to just go to analogar.com and you're able to see some amazing stuff as well. Okay, so here is a little bit of the stuff that we have packed with our Analog AR Augmented Reality. So we have Island Fever Issue Zero, the flagship Augmented Reality comic. Fresh out the gate, you have some content that you can check out. Then we have obviously our analog AR card that sends us to our website. We have two stickers. These are augmented reality stickers. And then we have two bookmarks. 
These are also augmented reality bookmarks. And so to give you a good little idea of how things work, you can download that app if you already have that. If not, you can go to the QR code and the QR code will open up the app store and take you to the app store. If you have it downloaded, then you can click open and it'll open that. You could go to books and images, wait for it to download and load everything that we need. And then it comes to life. As you can see. And we have this one coming to life too. If you want to go to the website, you can by just clicking that and it takes you to the website. And you can learn more about Illtopia and Island Fever. But the best part about it is you can go to the DLC menu and you could download the latest update. Then once it's finished loading, you can watch the intro. And you could check out some of the pages. Just like that. And so that is the content that we have fresh out the gate for you to enjoy with the analog AR headset by simply just going to the QR codes, downloading all the stuff, and then checking out analog AR. So all you have to do now is open up your favorite app. As we see here, you just open up your favorite app, attach your phone to the front of the headset, and then wear the headset and enjoy the experience. So again, my name is Steven Christian. This is me unboxing and showing you the hard work that I put into the analog AR headset. And be sure to check it out and let me know what you think. Introducing the analog AR SDK for Unity. A realm where developers can unlock unparalleled potential from the power in their pocket. Gone are the days of being tethered to platforms. Dive into the ecosystem designed for boundless creativity, whether you're crafting games, filters, or immersive experiences. Enhance image target interactions using the pinnacle of Vuforia Engine SDK, opening doors to dynamic AR landscapes and responsive designs. Venture into the world of seamless object interactions, bridging Unity's AR foundation with the unmatched precision of AR Core and AR Kit. But why stop there? The analog AR SDK lets you harness direct hand interactions, transcending traditional AR experiences. Feel the future with the power of Manamotion hand tracking SDK for mobile devices with the analog AR SDK enhancements. You can envision applications that rival Apple Vision Pro, MetaQuest Pro, and the HoloLens. But with analog AR, it's not about the device. It's about the vast horizons your imagination can traverse.
With Analog AR, every developer now wields the magic to create fully immersive applications compatible with any smartphone. Your canvas is vast and your tools are unparalleled. And the only limit is the sky you're yet to create. Analog AR SDK for Unity, where the augmented aspirations come to life.